There is a lot of freedom in the irradiated wastelands of Fallout 4. You can go almost anywhere, do almost anything, shoot almost anyone. But just because you can do something doesn't mean it's a good idea. Here are nine things you should not do in Fallout 4. Fusion cores are a scarce resource, and absolutely necessary for harnessing power armor. Unfortunately, a single fusion core doesn't last all that long. There's a tremendous temptation to play around with your new armor in the early game, but don't give in, conserve your cores. There's very little in the starting quadrant of the map that necessitates power armor outside your first Deathclaw encounter. Save that suit for when you truly need it. Once you've saved up some cash, you can buy new fusion cores to keep you playing with power. While it's tempting to push your attributes to the max, certain items like bobbleheads and UR special books can push your attributes above and beyond the level needed for the highest tier perks. Sure, the stat bonuses of raising your perception to 11 are nice, but that's a bit of a waste when the perk level maxes out to 9. Generally, you should avoid pushing your stats above 8 during character creation if you are truly hoping to min-max your perk structure. Some of the best moments in the game are tucked away in the side quest. If you want to meet the most interesting characters and gather the best companions, take your time. And even though you have a quick save, make a full save every hour or so. This can give you the opportunity to go back if you missed something important, saw something interesting, or if any persistent bugs get in the way of your adventures. Mini nukes, cryo charges, and other specialized ammunition types are super rare. Unless you're fooling around with console command cheats, don't waste your precious special ammo on anything less than a boss level threat or deathclaw. Water is icky. Don't wade in it, don't swim in it, and unless you are truly desperate, never drink it. Water retains radiation better than almost anything in the Fallout universe, and unless you want to see your health bar shrink to radiation poisoning, you'd best avoid any unfiltered H2O. Now that's what I call high quality H2O. Oh! It's incredible how quickly your inventory fills up with junk, so play by this rule. Never ever enter a new major town or facility without cleaning out your pockets at a friendly workbench. Otherwise, exploration becomes an exercise in over-encumbered frustration. Once you discover a new site you want to explore and the discovered alert triggers, fast travel back to your favorite base and drop off your extra items. Then fast travel back and get on scrounging. The so-called junk you find scattered around the various desks, shelves, and lockers of the Fallout 4 universe is actually post-apocalyptic treasure. If you have any intention of exploiting Fallout 4's extensive crafting and modification systems, you'll constantly be hungry for raw materials. Every item you pick up is a potential crafting component. Just drop them off at a workbench, and the materials will be available throughout that area for building structures and modifying your gear. Companions are great. They provide extra firepower, draw enemy attention away from you, provide conversational context, and best of all, can carry your extra junk, extending your range. You'll have access to Codsworth, Dogmeat, and Preston from very early on, and you should use them. The one exception to this is if you're planning to use the Lone Wanderer perk. If you're planning on traveling alone, this ability provides you with some pretty useful incentive bonuses like extra carry capacity and improved damage resistance. The best part of this perk? You can still bring Dogmeat as your companion, and Lone Wanderer will still be active. Okay then, let's stick together. While you can safely abandon power armor almost anywhere and later return to reclaim it, your map only tracks the last suit you left behind. If you have more than one suit, make sure to take the time to store them in places you will be able to find them, like your settlements. 
For more hard-learned lessons in Fallout 4, check our guide to Things Fallout 4 Doesn't Tell You. You can find that in our Fallout 4 wiki. And for everything else pre and post-apocalypse, stay tuned to IGN.